Hi there, Joshua here. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to rotate shapes uh, on a grid. Uh, in other words, turn them around a point. Uh, quite exciting. I'm actually going to show you three different methods uh, for rotating shapes. Um, so when you do maths, you learn lots of different ways of moving shapes on a grid. Uh, the different ways we move shapes are collectively called uh, transformations. And here are, a few tran here are a few transformations you may have heard of. Uh, reflections, rotations, translations. Um, we're only going to do rotations today, uh, but I could mention what the others are quickly. Uh, reflections, you've probably heard of that before. Uh, to reflect uh, this shape in this mirror line, you'd sort of draw its mirror image on the other side of the mirror line. So I have to imagine it flipped over on the other side of the line, the same distance away from the line. So something like that. So that's a reflection. Um, I realise that's not an accurate drawing. Um, to do it accurately, I need to do it on a square grid. Um, that's just a sketch. Um, we're not doing reflections today, uh, but we are doing rotations. Uh, to rotate a shape, um, you turn it around a point. Uh, the point around which you turn it is called the centre of rotation. And um, yeah, so to rotate this shape, let's say um, around this red point, um, a quarter turn clockwise, and 90 degrees clockwise, uh, where would it end up, do you think? Well, um, again, this is just a rough sketch, but it would end up roughly over here. That's a quarter turn clockwise. Uh, we are doing rotations today. Um, now, again, we're not doing translations today, but I'll just quickly mention what they are. Uh, when you translate a shape, you just move it in a straight line, um, up, down, left, right. Um, so if this shape was drawn on, our, on the grid, and we were told to move it five squares to the right, uh, we'd just count five squares right, and we'd move the shape to its new position. So we draw exactly the same shape, just in a different position, five squares to the right. Now this actually reminds me, um, at school, uh, when I was at school, uh, my math teacher said to me, she said to me, she said to me, uh, she said, uh, can you translate this shape? I said, uh, into English, triangle. Right, let's get on with the lesson. Right, so now I'm going to show you some different ways of, of rotating a shape on a grid. Now, notice that when you turn a shape, like this shape here, it turns always around a point. Uh, the point around which a shape turns is called the centre of rotation. So it turns around a point. So let's say you have this shape, and you wanted to rotate it 180 degrees um, around this point. How do you draw where it ends up? Well, one way you could do it is just, just sort of basically do it the way I just did it, uh, by using transparent paper or tracing paper. What you do is you take some uh, tracing paper and um, you trace the shape like that, and you just uh, hold the paper, hold the tracing paper on the centre of rotation, and just turn it. Basically, you just turn it 180 degrees. So that's 90 degrees, that's 180 degrees, and you just draw the shape where it ends up. As you can see, it's ended up over there. So let's just draw the shape in its new position. Just get, don't need this anymore. So that's it. That, we've rotated the shape, um, well I have, you haven't, uh, but I've rotated the shape 180 degrees using, uh, using the tracing paper method. Right now, what if you don't have tracing paper, or if you don't want to use tracing paper? Uh, well, there is another method for rotating shapes 180 degrees, which is really quick. Uh, so this is method two. Uh, this, this really only works for 180 degree rotations. Um, if you, well, we, we, we just did an 180 degree rotation. And um, I'm just going to label the, the corners of the starting shape, A, B, and C. And where they ended up, I'm going to use A dash for where A ended up, so it ended up over here. Uh, B dash for where B ended up, ended up over here. And C ended up over here, so I'll use C dash for that. If you look at where the corners started and where they ended up, when we did an 180 degree rotation, there's a, there's a connection. Uh, for example, from the centre of rotation, uh, corner A started two up. And it ended up from the centre of rotation two down. So basically the same distance away from the centre of rotation, but in the opposite direction. 
Uh, and that's actually true of all the corners. Uh, so for example, corner B, from the centre of rotation, it started two right, two up, and it ended up two left, two down. So whenever you rotate a shape 180 degrees, uh, this always happens. Uh, the corners move so that they stay the same distance away from the centre of rotation, but they end up in the opposite direction from it. So uh, once you know that, uh, you can rotate shapes 180 degrees really quickly uh, without using tracing paper. So let's do uh, a really quick 180 degree rotation. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just do a different shape. Just make up a different shape. Um, let's do... Let's call this shape A, B, C, D. Just going to move the centre of rotation maybe up here. Right, let's work out where, uh, where this shape um, ends up um, using, a, using the really quick method. So if you were to rotate it 180 degrees, where would, where would corner A end up? Well, um, at the moment it's too right from the centre of rotation, so it's going to end up too left from the centre of rotation. So that's where corner A is going to end up. We'll just label it A dash. Uh, corner B, uh, where is it going to end up after an 180 degree rotation? Well, at the moment it's four right, one up, so it's going to end up four left, one down. Just same distance away from the centre of rotation, just the opposite direction. Uh, corner C, at the moment it's four right, two up, so where is it going to end up after an 180 degree rotation? Well, four right, two up becomes four left, two down. So it's going to end up there. And finally, corner D, at the moment it's two right, three up. So it's going to end up two left, three down. So this is a really quick way of rotating shapes 180 degrees. It doesn't really work with 90 degree rotations. Um, I'm going to show you another method for that. But for 180 degree rotations, it's a really quick way. Right now, what about 90 degree rotations? Uh, let's say you don't have tracing paper and you want to rotate a shape 90 degrees. Well, there is another method. Um, it's not as quick as the last method, um, but, you can, but this method you can reliably use to rotate any shape 90 degrees. So I'm going to show you it now. Um, I've drawn the original uh, triangle that we started with. Um, let's say you want to rotate th this triangle uh, 90 degrees clockwise uh, around this point, around the center of rotation. So 90 degrees clockwise. Remember, when you rotate a shape, you're always rotating it around a point. So uh, let me explain this, this, not, this method that you can use for 90 degrees. Uh, basically what you do is you rotate the page uh, 90 degrees clockwise. Uh, you see where the corners end up and you write down where they end up. And then that way, uh, when you turn the page back to its original position, you know where to draw the new corners. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to rotate the page 90 degrees. So uh, and just, let's just see where it ends up. So if you rotate the page 90 degrees, um, you can see where the shape ends up relative to the centre of rotation. Um, it started somewhere up there, it's ended up down here. So corner A has ended up at two to the right of the centre of rotation. So two to the right. Uh, corner B has ended up two right, two down. So two right, uh, two down from the centre of rotation. And corner C has ended up at five right, two down. So five right, uh, two down. So now when we turn the page back to its original position, we know where to put the new corners, because we know where they end up. So we know that corner A ends up uh, two to the right of the centre of rotation, so over here, corner A, I'll call it A dash. Uh, what about corner B? Well, it ends up uh, two right, two down, so it ends up over here. Call that B dash. And corner C um, ends up uh, five right, two down. So uh, this is where the shape ends up. So that is how you rotate a shape 90 degrees uh, without using tracing paper. Of course, this method also works for 180 degrees, but it's not as quick as the last method. So the last method is quicker for 180 degree rotations. Uh, but for 90 degrees, this is a good method to use if you don't have tracing paper. I should just point out, um, I would do the writing, uh, this writing I do it on a separate sheet of paper. If you, if you do the writing on the same page that you're rotating, uh, you might accidentally uh, put the writing here and it might get in the way of the shape you're trying to draw. 
Also, um, the writing uh, will be rotated as well. So it'll be a bit awkward to read. You'll have to keep turning your head or turning the page. So I just do this writing um, on a separate sheet of paper. Right, uh, that's the end of the lesson. Um, so we've done, um, we've covered three methods on, on rotating shapes on a grid. Uh, method one was just using tracing paper. Uh, method two was that really quick method for 180 degree rotations. Uh, and then method three, which is the method we just did, uh, which was a good method for 90 degrees clockwise or anti-clockwise. Um, I'm going to put some, uh, I'm going to put a couple of shapes up on the board uh, in a minute. Uh, for anyone who wants to practice uh, what we did today, uh, you can have a go at trying the different methods and rotating the shapes. Um, I'm also going to put the answers after that, uh, so you can pause the video, have a go at rotating the shapes, and then look at the answers. In that order! Right, here are the questions. Bye!